No such thing as a bad day out there in the hunting woods. You just learn from those days. Little surprise ending here. First time in 20 some years, over 20 years, I'm out there archer hunting with the crossbow. Haven't done it since I was in Pennsylvania. We only have a 15 day season down here. But this is gonna be a, a video that I go back and learn from and watch. And it was definitely a learning experience. Can't be a bad day if I have two bucks within range. So we get out there nice and early. The only reason I went out Thursday, I'm watching YouTube videos on my route, listening to them. And HuntWise app, Whitetail Habitat Solution says Friday's gonna be a great day. Double digit drop in temperatures. The morning's gonna be fantastic. Every buck in the woods gonna be moving. It's gonna be one of the top 10 days of the year. Bam, I put in for vacation. I'm out, I'm going, driving down. I'm getting pictures all night of bucks. Cruising around, I'm out there waiting for some hogs. I'm seeing bucks cruise around. So I get out there with the old crossboat, get set up, and about 7.05, the binocs are gonna say 6.05. I haven't changed it since daylight saving. But man, this buck gets on me before I'm set up. Sony can't see because it's still too dark. Binocs I get set up, and the buck is right in my lane first, but I don't have the crossbow cock. I'm getting everything ready cock the crossbow, get it all ready, and that buck moves a little bit and changes. And the first problem I see that I'll learn from this is, I don't have an ATN optic on my crossbow. I'm looking at it with the binox, which works great whenever I'm with my son. When I'm with my son, I'm recording, he's shooting, we're communicating, everything goes well. When it's just me, I'm sitting there, got a great view with the crossbow. The binox is blocked by one tree. So finally feel that everything's right take that shot and, and I feel it's a good shot I mean the, the arrow looked really good the head of the deer in the neck was behind a tree and part of the shoulder was behind a tree I thought it was just gonna be a great it was either gonna be a great shot or nothing at all deer went away I'm sitting there I reviewed the footage and that tree gets me but that arrow flight looks really good so I just sit there I'm gonna sit there an hour till 8 30 a little bit after eight, man, my, my camera to my right on my rifle stand goes off, a buck's cruising through. I know that buck's gonna come right down through there. That's what they do. They go through there, they come down into their bedding area, and I get my camera ready, and that buck is on this side of the ditch, 20 yards, comes back, looks at me, goes down over there. He's up in there 45 minutes to an hour. Now, here's the funny part. I'm getting all my cameras ready now because I can really see good. I start to zoom in on this buck, and I'm... I'm checking this buck out. It's gonna be a great one for Ethan or maybe Hunter. And I see my arrow stuck in the tree. Right where that deer was, I shot to the left of the one that was closest to me and there was another tree I had to thread it through. That arrow is stuck right in that tree. Clean miss, which is good. I'd rather have that. That buck is gonna come back later in the season for either Hunter or Ethan and, and that's gonna be their buck, hopefully, and me missing it led to them getting a harvest down the road. I had a great day though, two bucks within range, seen a lot of deer moving around, cameras are going crazy everywhere right now, so we are on it. October 1st, man, I really start muzzleloader hunting, that's when I really get into it, is about October 1st. Just threw this early hunt in with the crossbow just to try it out, and uh, it didn't disappoint, but things happen like this. Archery, I can think back to many times in archery hunting, where stuff like this happened and it's it's really the norm for me with archery hunting that's why i stick to the black powder or the rifle we're going to bring you some great videos here with atn optics pretty soon so stay tuned like and subscribe